I'm Rob Parnell, and this is Right Now, finding your unique voice. First of all, your voice should never be some affectation. Many new writers think there's some predetermined attitude and or pose they should adopt, usually a superior, more learned version of themselves to sound more authoritative when telling stories. But nothing could be further from the truth. You should always write in the style that is most natural to you. Your voice should ideally reflect the way your mind works. Why? Well, mainly because it's easier. Secondly, your voice doesn't have to be original. That's a myth. What is originality anyway? When critics, publishers and agents say they want originality, they really have no idea what they're saying. I think what critics should really be asking for is honesty. And the simple truth is, if you're honest in your writing, you already possess all the originality you'll ever need. You are unique. No one else thinks and writes like you do. Trust yourself. You have to. It's essential to your growth as an artist because it's only when you trust yourself to say exactly what you mean with honesty and integrity that your true voice will start to come through. So how do you get your own author's voice? It's a process, of course. Practice. Consciously practice different styles. Write using different voices. Attune your mind to noting differences in style. Detach. Write without thinking for short bursts. Try writing for 10 minutes when you wake in the morning, before you can think straight. Force yourself to write whether you're inspired or not. This is a great technique for getting in touch with your subconscious voice, the one deep inside you that speaks your truth. Avoid. During writing spells, especially first drafts, don't read anything, no books, no newspapers, no magazines, no cereal packets, nothing. Starve yourself of influences so that you can concentrate on just your voice and not only the things you want to say, but how you want to say them. Affirm. Read your words into a recorder. The best passages will be easiest to read. Delete clumsy words, extra adverbs, shorten over long sentences. Experiment. Try writing two different versions of short stories. Write one with all the literary might you can summon. Write another with casual indifference. Post out both to magazine publishers or read them to your friends to see what they think. Strengthen. Remind yourself daily you are a writer and you are determined your writing will truly and accurately reflect your thoughts. Don't hide behind your fear of being honest or the thought that exposing your inner psyche is in any way bad. It's not. The real you is what your readers want, respect and deserve. And your unique voice will come shining through when you get into the habit of simply being yourself. I'm Rob Parnell. Keep writing.